Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Shreya. Today in this video, I am going to show you how I edit my videos and make them look aesthetic. I am going to spill all my secrets here starting from how I color grade my videos, where I get copyright free music from, what are my favorite songs and go-to songs to use on my videos, my favorite sound effects, video effects, everything will be covered here. I want this video to be one-stop manual for anyone who might be starting their own YouTube channel or you might already have a YouTube channel but you just want to up your editing okay. game. Also, I get questions from some of you people how I color grade my videos. So, I am going to share with you how exactly I color grade towards the end of the video. Now this channel is two and a half years old which means that I have been editing videos since last two and a half years and I have learned a lot of things when it comes to editing along the way. Of course I'm going to share you here. Now starting from the beginning the equipments that I use. I use this camera. This is Sony ZV-1 and I personally love this camera for three reasons. One is that it is really compact in size which makes it very easy to carry. Second is that it already has a microphone attached to it which means that I do not have to use external mic to record my videos. This furry thing that you see on the top of the camera is the microphone. A lot of people ask me if I have DIY'd this fur on top of the camera but no. This is a microphone and this camera also comes with a small tripod. And the third reason why I love this camera is because you can actually see yourself in the camera while filming which I think is really cool. Wait let me show you how it looks. So you see I can see myself filming which is ultra cool. Also this video that you're seeing is shot from this camera so you can see how the quality of the video is. I feel it is good enough. I'm going to link this camera and anything anything that I am going to mention in this video in the description box. Now I sometimes also use a very basic ring light. This is what I have. Most of the time I prefer shooting in the morning or afternoon when the light is good. Now moving on to the software and the laptop. This is the laptop I use. This is Nitro 5 from Acer. This is a fairly new laptop. It has not even been one year since I purchased this. Before this I was using MacBook Air by Apple. Every Apple laptop or desktop comes with an inbuilt software called iMovie which is an editing software and it is very very straightforward. I had edited a lot in iMovie but then I wanted to up my editing game which is why I thought I'll just switch my editing software. I actually then downloaded Premiere Pro in my laptop. Now I downloaded Premiere Pro for free. You can find the cracked version somewhere if you try to. There are so many editing softwares like Filmora, Final Cut Pro, so many others that are available in the market and all of them kind of runs in a similar fashion. Premiere Pro is a little detailed in a sense that it offers a lot of editing features and to be honest I don't know many of them. I just know few that are actually relevant for me. Now step one that I do is something called as rough cut where I cut and remove all the irrelevant part from the video. It's I think the most boring part of video editing. For example in the talking video like this if I am taking long pauses I can remove those pauses and of course I do a lot of DIYs on this channel and DIY process can be very very repetitive so I can just kind of remove the repetition. Then once you have the final clips in the right order you move to the next part which I think is a fun part. It's the creative section. The first thing in the creative section is the text. For the YouTube titles or any text that I have to use in the video, my go-to fonts are Arial Bold Italica and Helvetica. Now to be honest, I keep experimenting with the fonts. I try to use different fonts based on the vibe of the video, but these two are my general go-to fonts. Now one tool that I use a lot when it comes to text is the spacing tool, which kind of make your text go from this to this. The whole idea is to kind of spread out the letters. I think it looks cool that way. Now coming to the sound effects, I love to use bottle cork. I love bottle cork. I also like typewriter and the funny sounds like this. You can use these sound effects in your intros. Something like this. Now how I get these sound effects is I actually download them from internet. How exactly I do it I am just going to show you. So I go to YouTube and then I type what sound effect I want to use. This is the one that I want to download. I then go to YouTube to mp3 converter. This is the website I use. Just copy this link and paste it over here. Here you get the drop down where you can select mp3. Just say convert. All you have to do is say download. So then you'll have this mp3 file downloaded. All you need to now do is import this file to Premiere Pro. Now my favorite transition to use is this slide transition. Let me show you this transition with the sound effect that we just downloaded. 
this is how it looks small changes like this make a lot of difference in your editing and it kind of makes your videos interesting to watch i use crop and ken burns a lot in my videos now moving on to video effects or overlays I use this overlay a lot in my intros. I also love to use the doodle effect, the movie effect or the camera recorder effect. How I use these overlays or video effects on my videos is very similar to what I just showed you. All I do is I find the video effect on YouTube, copy the link and paste it in the same website that we used for the sound effect. But this time we have to select the mp4 format for the video file. Once downloaded, I import it to the Premiere Pro and then just put it right above the clip where I want the sound effect in. After that, I just go to opacity and just click blend and this is how the clip look like. I'll provide you the links of my favorite video effects and overlays that I generally use in the description box. Now moving on to music. YouTube is very, very, very strict when it comes to music. In the past, I have faced this issue multiple times wherein I had used music from some famous artists on my videos and I have gotten warning from YouTube saying that your video would be removed from the platform because you have used copyrighted music, which is a bummer because a lot of efforts goes in making a video and having it removed from the platform altogether is I think really, really sad. But I have learned it a hard way that you need to really make sure that the music that you're using in your videos are copyrighted copyright free so i found this really cool website called thematic a lot of new artists and different artists post their music on this website you can find so many variety here and some of the songs are free some of the songs are paid if you're going for the free music you can just go to their website download the song all you need to do is just give the credit in the description box that is all that you need to do and that is what i have been doing in all my videos now i'll tell you my favorite songs which again i have downloaded from thematic so i'm just going to put it here Walk up wanting you beside me I don't know what else to say Lightning stricken cactus and it starts to rain The smell of steamed asphalt since it no Now when it comes to editing, it's very important that you learn the shortcuts. Some of the shortcuts, not all, like how you cut the clips. I think it makes your life 10 times easier and your speed 10 times faster. Now moving on to color grading. I do not use any specific filter on my videos. There are two things that you see in the color grading options. One is the basic correction where you can just simply increase the exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows and then comes the curves and the color wheels. Now this curve section is not very clear to me to be honest but now I kind of have developed an idea. On the basic correction side, I do not really do much. I increase the exposure tad bit that is like 0.1 or 0.2%. I do not mess up with that contrast and highlight also very minimal i generally increase the shadows and then once that is done i move to the color wheel i actually like my videos to have a little bit of orangish tone so what i do is i try to put a mid tone to orange and the shadow to teal and a highlight to pink this is my rule of thumb this is how the clip look like without the color grade and this is how it looks with the color grade without with without with so you see the difference this was it for the creative section of the video editing once i have done all of these things i generally rewatch my videos see if there is a chance to improvise so once all that is done i go ahead and create the intro i create intro at the end of the video intro is kind of like a trailer that you're showing to your audience to give them the idea what exactly they are going to see in the video so the goal is to make your intro very interesting so that your audience want to see more last but not the least comes the thumbnail now i can create a whole separate video for the thumbnail because it is a different topic altogether but you can create thumbnails on your phone on pixart app for free again the goal is to make your thumbnail look very very interesting i think i've pretty much covered everything in this video if you want me to create a separate video for thumbnail let me know i will definitely create one i am actually shooting this video second time because the first time i shot somehow the clips was missing the audio i think i messed up the setting but this is the second time it is very very difficult for me to shoot videos nowadays because i have a nine month old daughter and i have a full-time job so making time to do something extra is very very difficult these days i definitely want to do it and keep myself consistent here which is why i have actually reduced making diy videos diy videos take a lot of my time and that is why i'm thinking to bring variety in this channel let me 
me know what you guys think and suggest me what all videos I can make on this channel. If you watched this video till here, thank you so much. Please like this video and share it with your friends. It really, really helps my channel grow. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, follow me on Instagram. Um, I post a lot of my short form content there. So please do follow and I will see you. Bye-bye.